everyone, it's Kronos, and in this video, I would like to be testing out Vita Aegis. So, uh, I guess I'll just leave it on like this. So, basically, this is also known as Cure Aegis, which is um, another shield Maggie. So, this, I guess that you would call it the third shield Maggie in the game, number one being Quad Aegis, then which gives you 200%. Uh, shield you have um you then had mono aegis which gives 50 percent shield this gives oh wait this gives 100 percent shield but also heals you so this maggie gauge does not fill up when shield is active quad aegis maggie does not fill up this maggie gauge and other shield granting maggie does not fill up while the shield is acts active except for other quad aegis and mono aegis so this basically means if you have it in your sub slot oh my god my dog's barking if you have it in your sub slot then it will if you have a different aegis in your sub slot then it will be fine but let's just see first how um how long it takes to charge up these maggies i i guess we'll just um Test it out on a Reaper. Because I'm not too sure how many things would survive being hit this many times. So, let's see. Achievement quest. Hopefully the Dark Reaper isn't too dead. Okay, so now we'll just start with Vita Aegis. That takes one, two, three... You know what, yeah, something like this would always happen if I don't go for an original quest. So, I guess we'll just use a shadow quest. It's so annoying when people lose connection. <laughs> I wish they just let you carry on with the fight. But, anyway, let's just quickly find something that would live that long. Like, none of my quests would live that long. We'll find a water behemoth, I guess. I guess Mercurius is good. Oh, but this thing's hard to grab. Water Behemoth. I need one that isn't too hard to grab. And you know what? Actually, I'll use... um. I'll actually get rid of these armor pieces so that the soul gauge doesn't charge too quickly. So I'll just do that. Just so that the soul gauge doesn't charge too quickly, or else I might end up killing the behemoth too fast. So now then, I guess I'll test it out on Aragami. So now I get to see me half naked. Ha ha ha, but Trumpa is also fine, I guess. As long as it doesn't do too much damage. So now then, let's go. So we'll start with Vita Aegis first. So I'll just count how the amount of charges it takes for it to charge up. The amount of combos, I guess. And these are both unawakened, so it should be completely fair. So it takes one, two, three, four, five, five full charges for it to completely charge up. Now then. Quad Aegis. Damn it. That was like one and a half. Two. Three. Four. So they both take about five charges to charge up. Now then, perfect time for Vita Aegis. So when you cast this, the cast time is about the same. You heal 500 and then you get a 50 heal over time. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty sure it was 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I think the, yeah, so you heal 1,000 times totally. Once being an instant one, and then the other being a bit later, I guess. Um, heal over time. Okay, Maggie Lock, Maggie Lock. Of course you have it. Now just wait for it to unlock. 
and being hit while you have the Maggie Lock makes the Maggie Lock last longer. Okay, so now what happens if you try casting a different quad or a different Aegis? So yeah, nothing really happens. You don't get an extra shield. But for some reason, you can't charge up this shield. I wonder if that overwrote it. I wonder if I can charge the Vita Aegis now. No, okay, so... Yeah, that's what happened. Now, which one is... Well, once it breaks, obviously, you can charge it again and uh, this lag. But anyway, which one is better? So, what do I think? I would probably think that Quad Aegis will be better almost, almost all the time. Because when you're at, like... Let's say a top floor behemoth tower. You're basically going to be being two shot all the time. So it's not going to be. So having a shield that gives 100% your health. Would mean that you can only survive two extra. Two extra hits. So that won't be too useful when it comes to tower. So if you already have a quad Aegis. Then you're probably better off using that. But then let's say you have a weapon. Gorinich's Gorinich's spear. So with weapons that only have two that don't that are that don't have a heal slot, I would probably say that it's safe to use Vita Aegis. It's probably a lot better to use Vita Aegis. So you also have um this weapon. So I would definitely change Quad Aegis to Vita Aegis. If you have the Leonid set and you always seem to not survive too well i would definitely recommend vita aegis a lot more because you also heal so and the, after the shield breaks you can obviously quickly charge it up again and heal so yeah is it worth it well it's quad aegis is probably not going to come back anymore especially since vita aegis has been released so now if we try using this I'm not going to try using it in tower. This is more going to be more of like a talking video. And again, Vita Aegis would also be pretty nice against a behemoth that has poison. So let's say you're up against... Let's say you're up against... um, What's it called? Let's say you're up against... What's that thing called? Yurami. So if we go against Yurami here, we'll go open a shadow quest. You'll take poison damage, right? So the cure Aegis, I'm just going to call it cure Aegis because I've been calling when I, I've been playing JP for like quite a while, as you guys know, and it's been cure Aegis. So chain being calling it Vita Aegis all of a sudden really messes, messes my head up. But anyway, once this loads. So with Quad Aegis, you don't heal. So when you take poison and burn damage, you, you can't get that back. So okay, perfect, I got poisoned. So right now it takes 63 poison damage every like, every so seconds. So if I get Cure Aegis up, this will hopefully so first you'll heal and now the poison damage as well i'm only take basically i'm only taking 13 poison damage so the clicks they basically go off at the same time same pace you can charge up quad Aegis as well while oh you can't do this anymore yes i guess they changed i don't know if they when they changed this but it seems like you can't charge up a different Aegis once you have a shield on. So if you have a shield on, you won't be able to use... You won't be able to charge up the other shield. So I don't know when they've changed that, but... They've changed that. Okay, but... You have Vita Aegis. This was Vita Aegis. So you also... As you see, you only have two shields spinning around you instead of four. So what... So again, what do I think? Well, if you have Quad Aegis, I would use Quad Aegis over Vita Aegis. Vita Aegis. Ah, I would use Cure. A I would use Quad Aegis over. Cure I would use Quad Aegis over Cure Aegis all the time, unless I'm using a weapon with no heal slots. 
Then I would use Cure Aegis. Wow, that change sort of surprised me. Um, the fact that you can't charge two shields. I guess they did that to like do something about the heat great swords and those weapons. I guess you'll have to play a bit more careful now. But yeah, I guess I my videos aren't too good talking and analyzing about stuff. I just showcase and show you guys. But yeah, that was all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.